Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome to my unboxing, my release day unboxing for Defiance on the Xbox 360, which this is a MMO, which we don't really get many MMOs on the consoles. I think the last one we got was a uh, um, DC Universe Online on a PS3, and uh, I don't know, that's Fantasy Star Game? I think that's about it. I don't know. I think there's maybe one or two, but... Yeah, this is one of the big ones from what I've heard. Uh, I heard pretty decent things about this game. I heard it was actually a pretty good shooter because it is a uh, mainly a third-person shooter, but it is a MMO. You can play with a bunch of other people, take down big creatures, explore the world, do side missions and all that. So I'm actually really excited to play this because I, I don't play many MMOs, and this one is a console MMO. Now, one actually, two things that startled me when I looked at this case when I got it at GameStop, yeah, I had to get it at GameStop, Power to Players, um, was two things, and like I said, better would connect, which I don't know how, I guess maybe voice commands, and it says right below here, 10 gigabyte storage, now, you have, that means you have to download a 10 gigabyte, I guess, update, and that blew my mind, uh, because it's an Xbox game, how big is the PS3 one going to be? Is that going to be like 20 gigs? Jesus. Um, so if you have a 4 gigabyte Xbox, do not buy this. That's a warning right now because it says right there too. So if you just, you know, if you want to get this game, it says right on there, but I'm warning you anyway. Do not get it on Xbox at least. Get on, if you have a strong enough PC, get on PC or get on PS3. Um, so yeah, here's the front. Some de decent cover art. There's the back. Watch the show every uh, nine, uh, yeah, on Mondays at nine on Sci-Fi because, of course, this is a crossover with the show that's coming out called Defiance, uh, coming next Monday, which I'm gonna watch too, um, because the cool thing about that, there's a side by the way, cool thing about this game is that it crosses over with the show, and say something happens on the fourth episode of the show, a character dies, if you come back into the game. Um, like NPCs will be talking about that. They'll have I don't know a funeral or something. Just events that happen after the game has premiered, which is I mean the movie. I mean the show has premiered. So yeah, that's really cool. So I'm really looking forward to coming back after the show has premiered. After I play this a little while, which I, I think if it's as good as I heard, I heard it's pretty good. Um, that uh, I'll be playing it for a little while anyway. So I'm really excited to play this. I'm hoping it's good. Alright. So, now I didn't really read the bag. It says, join the fight, of course, which is an obvious tagline. Vast world, vast content. Campaign, missions, challenges, leaderboards, team-based, multiplayer, open world, shadow war, and more. Uh, massive co-op gunplay, open world dynamic events, massive battles to prepare for co-op shooting on a vastly new scale. Ooh. Join thousands of players for blistering third-person shooting action and massive co-op battles as invaluable alien technology reigns to Earth. Gun your way through an intense open world campaign and vast multiplayer modes in the evolving game and show universe of Defiance. That's what it says. There you go. So, now let's actually open it. First thing you get is, what the hell is this? Okay, uh, you get a postcard of Defiance, and it even has like, you know, it's like actually made like a postcard, I guess? Kind of, yeah, it is. That's actually really cool. Uh, New Earth, New Rules, Mondays at 9, premiering April 15th on Sci-Fi, available in Canada on Showcase. Whatever that is, I'm not, I'm not a Canadian. So there you go, first thing you get is a postcard. You actually get another thing in here. <laughs> you get another postcard. So this one has different. Uh, this one has different stuff on it. This one has a description of the the show, and has a different cover art. This is actually the cover art for the game. So there you go. I mean, uh, uh, just art, whatever. Um, and, a, and a manual, which is actually pretty decent. Yeah, has some uh, advertisements for the show, of course. Ooh, what else? As a I don't know, just explain the game. Let's see. Uh, just a bunch of words. And it has a redeem the following code at the Defiance in game store to claim the digital items included with your purchase. I don't know. Digital content redemption taxes for the game. I don't know. Then unlock from the game. It doesn't say what I unlock here. Oh, wait. 
The rewards you earned in Arc Hunter training by linking your console and Treon World accounts. I don't know what this is, but if I download this, then I guess, yeah, it's a code. If I download it, then I get something. I can go show you it, though. And this is what it looks like inside. There's the disc. You turn it around. It's pretty much the cover art. It's the cover art. And there you go. There's the Defiance, a game I was very much looking forward to. Um, I'm going to go try it out, and I will have a review for it. I don't know when, seeing that it is an MMO, so it's not really a game you can beat. I think it does have a campaign you can beat, but it, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to finish everything in the game. Definitely not. But um, I'm going to play a little bit of it, well, a lot. You know, but, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess around 10 hours, and when I play 10 hours of the game, I'll probably give a review. So there you go. There's my unboxing of Defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye.